Hey y'all, my name is Sarah and I want to show you guys how to make my little gnomes. Um, I first learned how to make these last year. Um, these guys were a really big hit. Um, I was making them left and right and I had a lot of people ask me how and so anyway I just wanted to try to make a tutorial on how I make them um, this is my first time ever doing a YouTube video or a video tutorial so hopefully I don't miss anything or forget anything and hopefully I do a good job for you guys okay so let's get started first thing you're gonna need is a tube sock and you can use any tube sock. It's really up to you. Um, you can get them from the dollar store. Uh, almost every item that I have, you can get from the dollar store. Um, so the first thing you're gonna, do, you're gonna do is you just wanna cut straight across. Okay, and then you can save this piece um, sometimes I'll turn it in, inside out and sew a line across it, um, turn it right back, right, back right side out and use it again. It's totally up to you. All right, so now that we have our, our uh, sock cut, we're going to fill it with rice. And you can either actually use rice or there's also polyfill or poly, sorry, poly pellets. Um, I got these at Joanne Fabrics, but you can get them at Michael's, you can get them at a lot of different um, sewing shops and craft shops. It's really up to you. Some people don't like to use uh, rice, uh, and the poly pellets are, they're fairly, fairly heavy, but let me grab this bag again. But this bag right here, cost me ten dollars um, I had a, a coupon so I got 40% off so I guess it cost me six dollars and something um, but just just be aware that it is more expensive to use the poly pellets um, but anyway so you just fill this up with rice another cool thing another good idea if you're gonna use rice and you're worried about the um, you're, you're worried about the weevils that can be found in rice. Uh, what you can do is freeze the rice for about a week in your freezer and it'll kill the eggs that um, so the weevils can't hatch. Anyway, so uh, that's one cup and I, I pound it down, kind of mash it. Let me get another, another cup of rice. And I have this tray right here because it gets the rice is messy. It's the messiest part of doing this. You just keep filling it. The the idea you don't want to just put one cup probably unless you're wanting to make a really tiny one. The idea is to fill it about two, sometimes three cups. It depends on the socks that you're using. Some socks will need a little bit more. But you want it to be full and firm because this is what creates the body of the gnome right here. So just keep pushing it down. I definitely try to get two in. Actually, I know two will fit in this particular sock. Almost. Okay. Oops. Okay, so now we have our sock full, and I just kind of squeeze it a little bit, mold the sock. Okay, y'all bear with me. I'm going to check my camera every once in a while and make sure that I'm in the frame. Okay, then the next thing you want to do is you want to use these. Um, 
these little rubber bands. I find them in the hair aisle, the hair pretty aisle at um, Walmart. These you can actually also get at the Dollar Tree if you have a Dollar Tree or a Dollar Store. Um, either one works fine. So, uh, and it, it doesn't really matter what color you put on the top, but I try to pick a light color for the nose. So I usually will get like a dark one for the top and then a clear one for the nose. Okay. Now you just tie it around about three times and then what I like to do is trim down this extra. I don't think that I need to have that much extra. And then just kind of pull it. Okay. And then the next thing you want to do is figure out where you want your nose to be. And I think, hold on, let me stretch this. I think I want my nose right about there. And I've experimented with doing big noses, little noses. I really kind of like the big nose a lot. I think it's more gnomey. So I like to do the big nose. Okay. And then throughout the process, I'll be mashing the nose a little bit to kind of make it look like as nostrils. I think it makes it look more realistic. Uh, but you don't have to do that step. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to use a piece of embroidery floss. Um, well, where is the... There we go. And so you want a piece for the head and a piece for the nose. And the reason behind this is it's just extra security for if that elastic band breaks and I usually wrap it around about three times as well. I just figure those elastic bands will only last so long and then I cut that. All right and then I do the same thing for the nose. I think I only tie this one twice. Kind of pull it a little tight too just to make sure yeah come on all right let me try this again i'm gonna get a bigger piece Sorry, y'all. Okay. One, two. There we go. And then snip it. And these little pieces hanging off. They really don't matter. You're, nobody's going to see them. They'll be hidden in the, by the end of it. Okay, so the next thing that I like to do is I like to blush the nose. I think they look really cute with their noses pink. So I just have some really cheap um, blush. And I just get a little bit on here. And I just blush it or brush it on the nose. And it may look dark at first, but by the time that you're done and you've got the little clothes on it, the sock, um, it looks fine. And it doesn't matter if you get it all over here. You're not going to see any of that. So anyway, okay, the next thing we need is our sock our cover sock and I'm gonna do I'm gonna pretty much remake this guy so I'm gonna use this orange sock and I got this sock at Walmart but the sock that I'm using for the hat I got at the Dollar Tree 
So it's completely up to you. This sock came from the Dollar Tree, or wait, I'm sorry. This sock came from the Dollar Tree. Um, and this one from Walmart. Okay, so now we need to again cut, make sure you can see this. We're gonna cut our sock along the heel. Straight line, or as straight as you can. All right. And then you just slip him in. And then I always do this to make sure I don't have just a crazy amount of excess. So what I do is I take it and I will cut off this extra up here. Okay. Now, that's perfect. Okay. So what I do now is I will glue this piece under the nose. I hope my shadow is not getting in y'all's way. But I'll glue this piece under the nose. And I am dominantly left-handed, so everything has to get go across everything and get in the way. And I'll just put a little bit there. Tuck it under like that. And then I do, I pull the sides up like this, right up around the nose basically. And I'm gonna put glue, hot glue around the top up here to hold that in place. And then I just kind of hold it on to it for a second. Just to make sure that it's there. And then I'll do, I'll glue it back here just because I like it to hold together real good. I like it to just, I don't want to have to worry about it coming up off later or separating. Okay. I think I need an economy size glue gun, not a tiny one. Okay, so now he's done on the the sock the the covering of him. This part is done. Okay, so the next thing that we're gonna do is we're going to measure and cut the beard. And I want to show you guys that there are tons of options that you can do with the beard. I personally prefer the fur or the fake fur. Um, I just think it looks really cute that way. It looks really gnomey. I don't know, um, but you can you can do it any way that you want. You can do it as inexpensively or expensively as you want. But I'm gonna show you some of the options that I have. So I have this white curly beardy stuff that I believe I got at Michael's or Hobby Lobby, probably Hobby Lobby. Um, and then I, that's where I also got the faux fur from. So they have white, they have this um, brownish color, and then they have Blonde, they have a ton of different colors, but these are the ones I got. So, my favorite colors so far to use are the white and the brown. And I'll just kind of show you. I pre-cut some squares just to make this go a little faster. Um, but what I do is I take the fabric and I lay it on my little mat, or if you have a ruler or anything, you can measure. And I will measure out I typically will measure out about four inches. This one you can see I accidentally, um, that was a little bit over, probably closer to five. Um,
but so I, I, I measure about four inches tall and then I like to go about five inches wide. Um, and I'll show you why I like to do that here in just a minute. But you can experiment with the different lengths and widths for yourself. But you'll see why I like that, um, that measurement for myself. So, okay, so the goal is to get it pretty much like this. And it really, this right here, this curve, this cutout piece, is really going to depend on the size of your nose. So sometimes I'll make it uh, significantly smaller. But what I like to do is once I get the square cut, I kind of will play with the gnome and see, okay, do I like the white beard? Do I like the brown beard better? Um, and then I think we're gonna go with the white beard. So once you cut out your, once you measure and cut, then I will typically try to make it, let me use this other one. Hmm. Hmm. I'll go with this one. It'll be okay. Um, so I like to try to keep it about the width of the nose. So I'll take like my marker and I'll mark kind of where the nose is like this. Mark, mark. And then, um, but I had already, I did it for this one, so. Anyway, um, so the next thing I do is I look at it one more time, and then I'm going to put a, a drop of glue right underneath the nose. Now that's pretty hot, I bet. Yep, that's hot. Okay. All right. And then I take this piece and I lay it on there and I just kind of mash it right there. And then once I have that part on, then I will come up, I kind of pull to see how I want it. And I will, I don't pull super hard but I do pull on it a little because I want to create the roundness of the beard without having to cut that. I just think it looks really cool that way. All right, so now he has his beard and see how much it has, the color in his nose has kind of calmed down a little bit, doesn't look quite as pink anymore. All right. Um, so the next thing I'm going to do is get the cone for the head because you have to have, you have to have this if you want it to stick up. So these come from the Dollar Tree. Um, I've found them at Walmart. I've found them at yard sales. I found these at yard sales. The, the difference though is I, I want to, to show you guys, I really like the styrofoamy, um, the squishy one a lot better than the, the hard because it's harder to cut and I find that the socks tend to stick to them whenever. Um, whenever that you're trying to put them together. Okay, so what we're trying to do is this. And I know that that kind of looks so, sloppy or funny, but I like to cut it at an angle um, because I like it to kind of lean back. Um, that what that's what I think creates like the little the little gnomey point kind of thing. So that's what we're gonna do. So I'm gonna get my knife, and this is a messy, messy, messy part. I'm gonna scoot that guy. Out there. I just, let me see. Oh, the joys of. So now once I've cut down the the hat a little or the cone a little bit, then I go in here and I'm gonna cut I'm gonna cut a square and then in the square I'm gonna cut an X and it just helps you to be able to pop the pieces out really easily. So I'm gonna try to
and you're not going for perfection here. You're just you're just trying to create an open space to tuck in this um, to hide this uh, extra fabric. Like I said, this is really messy part. It gets everywhere. And then you just want to pull out a little bit. You can either take out more or less depending on how much of the fabric that you left in the top. Um, just to hide it. It helps hide it better. But I don't have a lot that I need to take out. Alright, let me get this out of the way really quick. Or try to at least somewhat. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to put, we're going to glue this on here. And I kind of mash it. Just, I just kind of play with it a little bit to see how I want it to look. And I like that right there. So now, you can, you can either put it on here or you can put it on here. I tend to do a little bit of both because I think that the glue kind of melts the styrofoam a little bit. I don't know if it's the heat or what, but anyway. All right, so then once you have that, then you just put this on here, and I try to hold it in place for just a minute. Okay, so now that's on, the next thing we're going to work on is the hat. This is actually really simple. So I just take the tube sock and I just bunch it up. I, I, I'm sorry, let me back up. So I bunch it up, but I keep the, um, the heel of the sock towards the back. So I just try to remember where that's at. And then I slip this on. And you can stop right there if you want to. I mean, you, if you, you, you probably would want to glue it down. But you can stop right there. Or you can, you can play with like pulling the, the sock up to kind of create a little hang. Um, you can fold the sock um, like this. I think we're going to do it like this for this time. Okay, so now that I got the hat on, I'm gonna go ahead and glue it down because I don't want my kids to pull the hat off and um, I just feel like it, it helps keep it secure. So I'll go up in here and I'll just put a little dab of glue and I just kinda lay it down and mash. And then I turn, I do the same thing right up underneath there, um, close to where the cone meets. And then, let's see, how do we want to do this? Yeah. Okay, and then I do that again back here. Going a little bit further. I'm coming. I think I'm going to put a little dab of glue back here, too. Okay, then there, and then finally, the last part I like to do is the nose. So I lift it up, and I just put a little dab of glue right there and lay it over. And there's your gnome. Now, um, 
I love there's I, I love that these you can have it just like this just this way it's, it's so cute um, but there are you can do you can add so many different things to it like you can really get creative with it um, for example like with these with this one I added a pine cone and a feather and this little stuff so uh, the Dollar Tree, you can get, you can get these at the dollar store. Um, you can, if you want to do a Christmassy theme, you can wrap the, the hat all around in the tassel. And if I'm gonna do that, then what I do is I will fold the hat up like this, and then I'll tuck it in and glue it, and then I just kind of go around loosely. Um, and then when I get to the top, then. So then when I get to the top, I would just glue it just a little tiny bit, like glue it right there. Um, you can add little beads or pom-poms, buttons. I love adding buttons. Uh, at the end of this video, if I can figure it out, I will add some pictures. Otherwise, I'll try to add some on Facebook. For everybody to see the different variations that I've done um, if you're interested but I think with this guy I think we're just gonna add a little another little pine cone Maybe. oh with this guy I added some flowers I thought that was really cute um, you can do the buttons little buttons it's really up to you. You can add like the leather, the or faux suede cord. Um, it's it's you you just are so limitless with the different things that you can use to embellish your um, your little gnome, which I think is really cool. Um, well, that's it. That's all I have. Um, if you like this video, please hit the like button, and um, I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you all later.